Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live for the men's pro singles final at the 2023 KWM Government SoCal Open Racquetball Championships for the IRT. I am Fabio Soto along with Brian Pineda. Brian, the end of the tournament in the men's singles draw. Conrado Moscoso, Jake Redenbeck. What's your outlook on this one? You know what? Uh, so here's what this is, Fabio. Both guys are, are uh, in position, obviously, to win here in a final. That's, that's common sense. The idea is, though, that uh, if Conrado is to win this match, he needs to be laser focused on that first serve. He played a very grueling match last night with Eduardo, or excuse me, um, Montoya. Yeah. And uh, so that's probably going to play a little factor here. I'd like to see Jake come blazing out here. This is more of a match that Jake needs to win than Conrado, uh, being that it's his time. And this is a great opportunity, great win last night from De La Rosa, uh, pushing an 11-6 breaker. And you know what, you have to wonder what kind of toll this has taken on, on Conrado Moscoso because that was a two and a half hour match last night. It was just 12 hours ago. So you have to imagine, you know, what's going through his mind right now you know, his, his regimen, how he, is he well rested or not? And the other factor is that, you know, Jake's a lot fresh, very, very more fresh. So he is right now with such great momentum. Is this his time? I mean, he won his first pro stop this year. And mm -hmm. you know what? We are just so focused and so glad that it's come to this point for him in his career. Because you're looking at a future number one player. Great shot there by Jake Bradenbeck, who's ahead right now, three to zero. And I, I want to see Jake really f honing in on the idea that Conrado is still working his way physically into this match. You can just feel it. The legs are a little fried last night from playing uh, Montoya. That's a beautiful, well-struck ball there from Conrado. Well, you know, and he got a great, you know, got a, got a great side out there. But you have to wonder, you know, what's again, what's going through the mind now of Jake Bredenbeck? All he has to do, you know, to put this ball away, and not just that. I, and I can't stress this enough. We're looking at, at a future number one player on tour with so much potential, and you know, so much to give. His power is just right now unparalleled. Yeah, there's like I said, there's no doubt this is more Jake's time to win this match. It's it's something that he needs to do with the kind of run that he's having, with where he's at in his career. Um, this is a big moment. This is really going to dictate what it looks like for him. But make no mistake, after Daniel, there's no better uh, opponent to win a Tier 1 from than Conrado, as we saw from the five-time world number one last night in the chat box. Sudzi Manchik saying he's the mo uh, he believes that Conrado is the most talented player in racquetball on the planet today. That's a big accolade coming from someone who's accomplished so much in the play tour. He's seen all the greats, and so to say that about this next generation just tells you that everyone, Conrado and the top, I'd say top 10, top 15, stronger, better, faster. Though I, though I cannot disagree with such a personality and an icon in our sport, not, not, no in question arguably one of the GOATs. Is Conrado Moscoso a harder worker than Jake Bredenbeck? That's the other thing, that's the other issue. I, no question about talent, no question about speed and agility, but what about hard work? What about putting in those hours on the court, those hours in the gym, and clearly for Jake Bredenbeck, it's paid off. So tough. It's an almost near perfect serve coming to the forehand for Jake to scrape that off. I think he set the racket down, used a spatula. Absolutely phenomenal. And a miscue there, much easier shot. Almost in Plum City there at the dotted line. but still in a very good start here for the young Viking out of Minnesota. And 
bouts of frustration there from the young champion out of Bolivia. Mm. What a healthy shot down the line. That's Just so meaty. Can't really do much about that. So close and yet so far from Jake Bredenbeck. You gotta love it. Absolutely. I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. This is the end of our men's singles. Remember, after this match, men's pro doubles coming up. This is a mistake by Jake and unforced error. Those are the ones that Jake needs to keep away from. And he's, you know, he's so diligent about how he, he strategizes in, in the court. You got to wonder, you know, how he keeps that on track. It's a great backhand from Jake. He's about 36 feet back. Pulls back on it. Well planted. Playing confidently within himself right now. Wow, what a power shot there. Absolutely. And, and, and I'm noticing the strategy, too, that Montoya took with Conrado. I'm kind of wondering with Jake, too, because Jake's not throwing the all into the serve. Could be early on. But he as well has taken some of the pace off the serve, knowing there was success that Montoya found with that last night. That's so good. That's a great pickup by Bradenbeck. Not enough there. But you know, again, that defensive skills right there. I think court, the court position that Jake took right there was just really on point. But Corrado just found a way to cross that, get it out of the way. Yeah, I'm not feeling the sense of urgency just yet from Bradenbeck. Having the 5 1 lead now down to three. That's another unforced error in the hands of Muscle. He's been plagued by those throughout this tournament. You know, especially last night against that semifinal versus Montoya. He had unforced errors that just prolonged the match longer than it should. Great serve. Wow. That's, that's good stuff. Just in, in rally, in, per, in present time. Jake doing something that's outside of his skill set. You'll notice a very awkward touch shot, but committed to it. That's that's good versatility from Jake. Yeah, he better eat that up right there. Exactly. But you know what? The surprise factor is something that Conrado has been utilizing all through that week, and then last rally, that shot that he went, you know, overhead shot. And he's going to need more than that, though, to defeat I Jake. I want to see a missile here, Fabio. A little short. You know, I'm having a hard time right now realizing who has the most power right now in this court. After a weekend of pro racquetball, you got to wonder how much gas is left in the tank. You get that's pure. That's pure. The footwork to get to the shot, to stay low in the seated position. He's not standing up. His legs are tired, but he's still doing what it takes. Did a perfect shot there down the line. And the That's other, money. And the other rarity that we have in this tournament, we haven't talked about it, is that every professional player involved in the finals today is different. The singles are not playing doubles. The doubles are not playing singles. Mm. So we, we're going to have a fresh batch of new athletes coming up after this match. Usually, it's not that way. Right. Great angle. Another good get. That's huge. That's tremendous. That's patience on there on the hands of Moscow. So the crowd cheering. You know, he took his time to analyze the play and figure out because Jake was in a little trouble right there getting that ball in the back. Conrado just finding the way. Yeah. See, those, those shots right there with Jake, it needs to be more authoritative. Allowing Conrado, he's a quick twitch player anyways, quick twitch muscle, fast on the ball. Taking that less pace off, that's the shot he needs to shoot with ferocity. That's a skip shot. Very close, love the potential sell there. Head referee Alan Natera says, not for sale, big boy. <laughs> I ain't buying. Oh, 
opportunity. What a great setup there by Jake. And I love how he went so low to get that shot. And just really, the technique is so perfect right there. There was no reason for him not to make it. So he had a 5-1 lead, which gave him a four-point differential. Next exchange of serve had a three-point differential. Now he has a two-point differential. So you're seeing more of the momentum of Conrado coming through right here. I mean, the level of IQ in that court just went up. It really did, and it has to. You're going to see two very strategic players that have power and defensive skills and shooters. Tough! What a play. Jake Redenbeck, kill shot between the legs. Wow, how can you describe that one? That's just putting some creativity on the ball. Let's some good that. sauce from the Odyssey guy. Let's see that right now, Jake. Look at how he just shifts from left to back in the front, and look at this. Boom. Is that skill, is that talent, or everything above? It's everything, man. It's a full throttle commitment. And wow. I love that because Conrado, if you're gonna cut the ball off to go with the ceiling ball, it's not a good strategy. It's not it's no. not high racquetball for the kind of caliber player he is, or for any professional at that matter. And what Jake does in that moment is he's patient and he takes advantage of a miscue there. Next shot should be teed off by Conrado. And there you go. But I love that Jake went to his forehand though. He's experimenting, he's he knows he has to be versatile and trying to keep Conrado guessing because the surprise factor is something that Conrado has in his weapons as well but Jake needs to surprise him altogether. I think he's working the forehand because it's not as solid as it typically is. A little miscue there. But yeah no I like the strategy of going to Conrado's forehand. It's it's uh it's a more sprayed than usual so it's not as consistent, not as authoritative. And it's probably because he's sore. So he's going to try to break it down even more. It's a good strategy for the ladder of the match. See what I mean? That's a good shot, yeah. but you can feel that Conrado is really not letting go on the shot. No, you can see it on the score right now. Conrado is trailing only by one, seven, serving eight. Mm -hmm. And that says a lot about, you know, how he's starting right now, how he's progressing. Beauty. One thing I can tell you, Ryan, I don't know if what, what your thoughts are on this, but the further this match goes, I think it's the better for uh, physically for Jake Brandenbeck, mentally for Conrado Moscoso. Beauty. What a great shot. So clean. No doubt about it. Yeah, I love that he keeps the pressure there. I mean, to skip that shot there is only going to go to the mental, as you said, the, the focus for Conrado. Wow. I know Conrado believes he can win this match, but to have the faith considering, because what happens when you get in the later part of a tournament, you know your body's breaking down, so there's that self-talk. And, and to be battling through that, convincing yourself it's your time. So the belief is there, the faith. We'll find out. Perfect angle. Much meatier forehand from the Bolivian champion. Both of these gentlemen representing their countries respectively in international play. A lot of success in their national events. Oh, Corrado again, that surprise factor he utilized right there, but he came up short. I just don't think the wrist right there, the motion that he went through was just accurate because we used to see him just pound that ball down. A lot of wrist action. It's a tired shot, Fabio. Yes, it is. Skip ball, that's a good call. That is a good call. And you know, like you said, it's a tired shot. and. and 
that's why I think the longer this match goes physically, it's better for Jake. But mentally, Corrado Moscoso has proven to us time and time again that he rises to the occasion mentally. His mental strength is just rivaled by almost no one. We've seen him pull out tremendous victories out of just the ashes of mm -hmm. defeat. We're not there yet, though. Jake Once Benebeck. in a while, you'll see both competitors still fresh in a final. But more often than not, you'll find because, you know, you are playing the best in the world. It is a deep draw that uh, it does come down to grit. Just comes, comes down to uh, playing the biggest game of you versus you. Beautiful line there from great shot. Jake Bredenbeck retrieves the serve. 11 serving seven. Jake doing a better job on the pace of the serve. Side out, and a much better cutoff there from Conrado. I want to thank some of our sponsors for this event, of course, IRT Partners, Gearbox, Racquetball, MyPillow, foundation that we so much enjoy supporting, Live Like John, National Masters Racquetball Association. And we'll take a one minute break, and we'll be back after this short one minute tale on IRT Live. Story joined the U.S. military, was killed in an inside attack on the 12th of February 2014. The biggest thing we want to do to help our local Gold Star families and our veterans that we bring awareness to their opportunities to be served, to be taken care of, to bring to light ever increasing need for our veterans specifically to have housing, to have good benefits, to be taken care of. Go to livelikejohn.us. Go to the donate now button and help us fulfill our mission. Thank you, everybody, for joining us again. 2023 KWM Gutterman SoCal Open Racquetball Championships for the IRT. I am Fabio Soto. I want to thank the sponsors as well, APC Contractors, Mani Athletics, Zurich Construction, California Nevada Racquetball Association. Thank you very much for all your support. Team Dovetail, of course, HMS Realty, SI Testing, OHE Paintings and Wall Coverings. Special thank you to Friends of the Tour. I want to thank Brad and Rose Levine. Bing Wang, Garrett Parks, Brett Elkins, and especially a great thanks for making this tournament possible, Mr. Rick Betts and Cindy Tilbury, who just one of the biggest supporters in racquetball here in, in California. Back to the action, Brian Pineda. Time out, what are your thoughts? I think it's a well done time out there. Good readjustment. And uh, there's no time but the present to get going here. He's trailing now by three points. And with Jake, it's just more important because there's not a convincing uh, momentum of the game outside of the score saying that Jake's in the lead. No one's really grabbing and running with it. The truth is Jake is playing more consistent. Conrado's just played a few more loose balls. But for two guys that can be so dominant, no one's displaying a dominant behavior as of yet. And the and the legs just aren't there yet for Conrado, but what will happen as he starts focusing and going after more balls like that. He's going to will his body to a place where adrenaline will kick in. And the legs won't be such a factor anymore. So good on Jake to be so consistent at this time. Still has another level to go if he so wanted.
14-8, a point awarded there is an avoidable. And it's good on Jake to have played that well. Very, very well. Now, game point, Brandon Beck. Wow, Corrado, as usual, all in, Grenada. Yeah, not a big fan of the serve, obviously. Conrado able to tee off on it. It's not, it's not the message I want to send to my opponent as I have a 14-8 lead here going into the second game. Beauty. It's a good indication that the fatigue of yesterday is starting to wear off. Love it. Love it, and that's a, that's a patented Jake shot right there. It is. No care in the world if he misses it to set up. He's going for it. Good focus. It's a nice shot. It is. And Corrado, you know, he took his time to analyze what to do right there. You know, I thought he was going to go for a behind the back, just down the line shot. But he very, very candidly went for that corner. Moscoso with a missile come out. So good, great strategy. Good effort here, we got a rally. Good stuff from Jake. This is defense all the way, Brian. I love that both gave us a great display of defensive shots and not just that, look at the resolution. Let's see a replay. Moscos is just playing catch up right there. And he puts himself in a position to win this rally, but you can feel the legs. They're just not there for this final. As of yet, he falls down on a setup. And Jake to stay tough in that rally, because that's a tough rally. He had an incredible lunge to the right side to keep the ball alive. You know, I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning into this weekend. The IRT is leaving SoCal now. Brian, it was a great racquetball weekend, and you know what? You can see it in everybody here because we got two exciting finals. Remember, after this one, Alvaro Beltran and Rodrigo Montoya will take on Daniel De La Rosa and Alex Landa. That's an unusual final. I, I honestly never thought I would say that that matchup was going to happen. You know, I'm just surprised after Vegas and the healing that Danny and Alvaro aren't playing together. It's, it's just odd to me. For the game. Right and back. And should, should Rodrigo and Alvaro win? Is that the end of the DLR Beltran era? That era is over. Oh my goodness, this just in. Here we go. Game point. Can't say I like that shot from Jake. That ball was about at least four feet up in the air. It's a, it's a sloppy rally, and so good on Conrado to give himself another shot here in the box. Nine serving 14. Down the line winner. It's a great play by Moscoso. The Bolivian hero to the serve. Interesting first choice. It's a setup. Good stuff. 
I love the control that Moscoso demonstrated right then and there. Didn't get desperate, didn't get impatient. He was just waiting till the last possible fraction of a second to mm -hmm. decide what to do. He's on a two point run. He's gonna stick with this lob. Nope, changes it up. Good change up. Yeah, that's tough. You can feel the frustration coming as he's on a three-point run now for Conrado. Two points behind. And Jay caught me off guard, too, when he went for the forehand down the line. We'd like to see a cross court. Very smart timeout. Feel the emotions getting away. So we're going to take a short timeout as well. This is the SoCal Open men's final. We'll be right back on IRT Live. My name is Jake Brenbeck, and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox is felt and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you and that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. Welcome back everybody. We're here live as a stunning game number one. You know, we feel the strategy, Brian. We feel how they're very, very diligent. And this goes to show the difference between tonight and yesterday, uh, t I'm sorry, y today and yesterday night's matches. And you've said it before, you, you don't see the legs right now on Conrado that he usually has and the potential. And Jake is just taking full advantage of it. He just seems more fresh. Any champion will tell you, Fabio, that most finals, it's about willing yourself to win. And there's obviously intangibles of physicality and all that kind of stuff, but having the faith that you're gonna win regardless of the circumstances uh, is really what a final is about. Rarely do we see someone win just because they absolutely were perfect. Mm -hmm. Both timeouts taken. So no more timeouts, Brian. Not good a good round. on Jake. And you know what? I don't like the decision that Conrado took right there. I was just going for that splat shot. He had a clear down the line. Jake was all the way to the left. Let's see a replay of that. Let's take a look. I think that that was just very poor shot selection by Moscoso. And Moscoso's got a beat on it, too. A little surprised he doesn't get the last shot. The incredible get was the one before on the uh, be where we had our replay queued up. Jake makes an incredible lunge. It's, it gets understated how great your legs have to be on the stretch in this sport. You think it's just a quick game. It's, there's so much core and inner leg strength needed. Replay called right there. I like it, and, and Jake has to jump there. Call stands, though. Wow, I thought he was, he was in front. He was, but he made the adjustment to move, you know what I mean? Yeah. Interesting. Let's see if this doesn't affect Moscoso psychologically. Good on Jake right there. Good use of the body. Doesn't have to keep it flat. Good for him. Game number one goes to Jake Betting back 15-12. Players will take a two-minute break, and we will too. And we'll be back for game number two on IRT Live.
Looks like you've been sleeping well. Megan, he's back. The My Pillow guy. And you're looking good. I'm still feeling good. Well, just when you thought it couldn't get any better, we've got the best pillow ever. My Pillow 2.0. When I invented my pillow, it had everything you'd ever want in a pillow. Well, now there's new technology that makes it even better. My Pillow 2.0 has my patented fill combined with a cooling fabric with temperature regulating threads. My Pillow 2.0 is truly the next generation of my pillow. The best sleep just got even better. Whether you have a my pillow or not, you need to get the brand new my pillow 2.0. Call or go to mypillow.com now. Use your promo code, and for a limited time, when you buy one, you'll get a second one absolutely free. You're sleeping even better and cooler too. And you're looking good. Feeling good. I knew you would. Visit mypillow.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here from Canoga Park, California for the IRT. I'm Fabio Soto along with Brian Pineda. Well, this is just joining us. 2023 KWM Gutterman SoCal Open Racquetball Championships. Brian, what a great first game. We saw great, great performance from both of these athletes, but Jake seems to have the edge now. That's right, Fabio, and uh, this is the official going out live here. Brian Pineda here live with Fabio on the IRT. And I, I got to be honest with you, Fabio, it's been excellent watching Jake finish the rally the way he did, finish that game the way he did. Good use of the body. Didn't have to be perfect down the line. No. Uh, used every element of a professional game that you can. He goes into game number two feeling extremely confident here. And we'll see if Conorado can make the adjustment. An unforced error right there in the hands of Jake. You know, not that I say that he's going to get overconfident, but he needs to build up on that effort. The way he closed that game number one, you know, Conrado just was stepping on his heels for most of the match. Remember, he had a great point differential, then they went one point apart, and again. That just goes to show the tenacity and consistency of both of these guys. But I expect a great game number two from a future number one IRT player. That is Jake Bredenbeck. Now Conrado has to figure out how to get back on track, utilize his most powerful weapon, which is a serve, which he hasn't done really. He, you know, Conrado hasn't had that good sequence of serves all weekend long. I haven't seen it. I mean, he's in the final, granted, but his ultimate weapon has not been utilized. Jake, for sure, and this isn't a testament. This is a great message for everyone to be reading into why Jake's going to file one of the many reasons, but the most obvious one is that Jake has done a better job of taking care of his first serve. The entire field probably combined, Jake still has a better first serving percentage. Oh, no a, question. That, no that question. That tell you something. That, that's, that's an awful stat to have to get honest about. This is the professional level, but that's just been the truth of this tournament. It's not always like that. Great hustle. And what I'd like to see J Jake do here with the one game up with destiny on the horizon is to go for it. Everything, every shot, every serve, and impose his will because this isn't over. Just because, let's say, hypothetically, he wins this match, this is going to be a, a rivalry for a very long time. It's a great shot there from Conrado. It truly is. He's got a 2-0 lead here as he trails Jake in the game count. That's the skip right there, unforced error. This is he, he's got to tighten up mentally here. Okay, so you miss. Next point. I don't want to see the self-talk like that. We know you're tired. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Like you don't have to. You don't have to verbalize it to us. We get it. Just we understand it. We realize it. Good change of serve. Perfect. One serving two here. I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. The end of the KWM Gutterman SoCal Open Racquetball Championships in the men's pro singles. Remember, coming up next, immediately after this match, the men's pro doubles. Wow. 
Wow, such great versatility, good hands from the big guy. And you know what, not a difficult shot there for Jay because he had basically Conrado pinned to that left corner. It definitely helps as you get to strike the ball, help you stay a little more focused knowing it's the right shot. We're all tied up here in the infancy of game number two. And it's really, it's, it's unfortunate to see Conrado not really coming in with the game plan. You are, there's no sense of urgency to cut off the serve and do that. I don't understand. That time plays in his favor. And that might be, for me, that's insult to injury. That's like pouring, that's... It's giving a false sense of pride right there that he's doing the right thing. I don't like the game plan with Jake. Much better there. There's Jake who plays a loose ball, comes off the sidewall without going to the corner. Able to let Colorado tee off on a perfect backhand finish. Very nice. Serve doesn't quite Z the way Jake wants. It's able to give the little life off the back wall and Conrado handles it well. Jake gets there, just not enough to the front court. Side out at three serving, excuse me, three serving three. Mm. That's better. And you'll notice on that shot too, he lets it fall into the strike zone. Good patience, good timing, well struck ball. Conrado finds a way to get back on top. He's leading by one. That's a good reset by Conrado. Look at his uh, utilizing those ceiling shots to the left. Wow, that so was tough. so patient of Conrado. Also patient by Jake, but just Conrado found a way. You see all those ceiling shots he went all the way to the left, and he found that key right there on the right-hand side. That's another point for... Moscoso. And you know, this shows you the level of talent and, and, and the level of play here. So uh, you see all these pro players here watching the match as well. They're very interested to see the outcome of it. That's filthy. That is nasty play by Moscoso. Some signs of life in the crowd cheering here for Conrado. He's on a roll right now. This is a steam train. You're, you're feeling now. This is what a dominant role feels like here when you're taking control of the game, getting it back on your terms. Perfect swipe of the ball. Cracks out in the side. But look at the differential right now in the points. This is the... Largest differential in favor of Moscoso throughout this match. The momentum is shifting. The needle is going through Conrado's side right now. And good on Jake there. Game's getting a touch out of hand for him. White ball call. Oh, 
Oh, Corrado tried to go a little bit off speed with the changeup right there. It didn't happen. That's a skip shot. That's an ace that's, serve. That's what he's been looking for. You know, the gamble that's been coming off the side wall. That's the perfect angle he's been looking for to shoot right back down the line. So Jake with two quick points. And you know what? The counter for that shot. It's just amazing by Brennan, but you saw Conrado just right there trying to utilize the element of surprise, but Jake's court position was just way better. He was ready for that shot. Again, unforced error. Jake's crept right back into this, destroyed the lead that Conrado built. That five point lead is only now a one point lead so far, seven serving eight. Great serve, doesn't come off the back wall as hard. We're tied up at eight apiece now. So good. Wow, tremendous. Full commitment to the three wall boast there. Jake does a relatively good job let's of the see backhand. A, let's see a replay right here. Jake, look at Conrado's utilization of those three walls, just amazing. The ball was behind him, just a well-struck ball. That's authority. He's just let a few balls freely award points to Jake there. As Jake regains the lead. That's a fortunate shot there. Could have come off the side, finds a nice crotch shot in the left corner, zooms down the line. But now Moscoso has to come back and fight again. He's down by one. And we're nearing the final part of game number two. So Conrado has to be more diligent with the serve. That's a good shot. It was close though, nine, nine. We're tied once again. We've been through ups and downs all over through this game number two, such a different rhythm. Game one was just more on Jake's side than anything else, but right mm -hmm. now it's flipping back. So we'll see. It's a race to six now, Brian. Tough, on the move. Has to climb up the wall to finish because the momentum is so fast into that shot. And now Moscoso back on top, leading by one, little frustration in the hands of Moscoso right there. Close to perfect serve there, just comes up short. Such a great wide angle right there. It's a right shot. Yeah, and I don't know that Conrado's cut that ball off successfully, so the gamble of missing in the front court with Jake, who's been striking well in the front, it's not well thought out. 10-10, we're tied once again. Good serve. That's a skip shot. That's a good serve by Jake. Talk about taking destiny in your own hands. 
Jake Brandenbeck is four points away. That's another point, Moscoso. Maybe a that's, timeout that's is needed. There, you, there yeah. you go. As soon as we call the timeout taken by Conrado Moscoso, he takes a one-minute break, and we will too. We'll be back on IRT Live. My name is Andre Parrilla, and I play with Gearbox. I love about Gearbox that everyone's, uh, everyone's part of the family, and uh, they have the best equipment in a great sport. Dedication makes a great athlete, obviously talent and passion. One of my beliefs is, uh, is that we're capable of doing a lot of things that we cannot even imagine. It's just part of uh, enjoying the process and then gets to whatever we want to get. Any sport that young athletes are playing, uh, if you really like it, and as I said, if you put the dedication and the passion, I told you guys, you don't even imagine how, how far you can go. Time in as Moscoso walks into the court as well as Jake Bredenbeck. We're here in it till the end. I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. This is the KWM Government SoCal Open Racquetball Championships. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you, everybody, for liking our post, sharing our feed, and keep following us. Men's Pro Doubles coming up next after this one. Jake. What a great shot. Jake just with authority, just pounding that ball. Yeah, full commitment to serve, full commitment to the shot. Great get from Conrado. Two good from Jake. Mm -hmm. Tough. Full commitment, good serve. But Conrado just better there with the return. The match has never been more urgent for Conrado here. 10, serving 13. You gotta wonder when you go back home, you wonder what didn't work for me, I imagine. No doubt he's gonna work on that first serve. It's a good lob. Oof. Wow, that's just pure, raw, beautiful shot in that right corner. And you know that leads me to say, Brian, this game is far from over. Oh my gosh. Jake, wow, all in. Right. And the truth is it's not Shaker's strong side to be on his backhand, but he's been phenomenal this tournament. More consistent than I've ever seen. So good. Perfect. And he's put himself aligned with destiny here as he reaches his first match point. Chance to tack another tier one win to what will be an, astound, an astonishing career for him. Let's take a look at a replay right here. Some of these highlights that we've been seeing throughout this match. Great get. Legs there. Beautiful stuff from Jake. This is the one where Conrado's legs give out. Here we go, folks. Match point number one. The Minnesota Miracle Man here to take out Bolivia's great champion. The Viking. The number one player in the world to take it to him. It's a moment of destiny here for Jake Bredenbeck. Can this be Jake's second IRT win? And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Jake does the deed. Jake Redenbeck. Congratulations. A the young man out of Minnesota, Fabio. His second tier one championship in the IRT. Jake Redenbeck was not denied today here in Canoga Park, California. Congratulations to him. And a great performance by Conrado Moscoso. We'll be back after a minute with interview with the winner Jake Bredenbeck back here on IRT Live. My name is Jake Bredenbeck and I play with Gearbox.
I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox has felt and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRC with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other one. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little longer. So it's going to be fun. Jake Brandenbeck, Jake, congratulations. What a stellar performance. Wow, the crowd loves it. Jake, please, you know, congratulations again. Your second IRT win, you know, it's, it's just amazing to see this from you and your, you know, your performance. What can you say? Yeah, uh, it feels good. You know, I've been getting closer and closer, made a few finals, a few semis, and just was coming up a little short. And you know, today was able to get it done. Uh, hats off to Conrado. He's obviously a hell of a player, and you know, he's he's got me the last few times. So it's it's nice to get this one, especially in a final. Well, and Jake, we we talked about this. You know, you you you're on your way to being a, a new number one player on tour. You're you're just very firm. You you got the steady road, and your performance says a lot. Your physical conditioning says a lot. You know, we saw it, and you had such a great tournament all together. Um, the preparation you have, your your brother Sam in your corner, how does that help you? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that, having him here, um, being able to play doubles with him and, and just be able to travel and, and do that with, with my brother and my best friend is, is pretty special. So um, I'm very thankful for that, and hopefully we can keep doing it. Well, Jake, congratulations once again. Ladies and gentlemen, you're champion of the KWM Gunnerman SoCal Open Racquetball Championships, Mr. Jake Brennenberg, the Minnesota Viking. Congratulations, Jake. Thank you especially, too. <laughs> yeah, I got to definitely thank my parents. Uh, they always support me, you know, allow me to do this. Thanks to all of you for coming out and watching. Thanks to the sponsors. Thanks to IRT for coming and putting this on and showcasing this. Gearbox, Odyssey Apparel, uh, Keith Miner. Uh, Cliff Swain, Sam and Joe Kelly, you know, a lot of, a lot of people helped me get to this point. So thanks, thanks to everyone who makes it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next on the IRT Men's Pro Finals, Daniel De La Rosa, Alex Landa versus Alvaro Beltran and Rodrigo Montoya here on IRT Live. <laughs> 